Moment of truth. Please don't blow up, please don't blow up, please don't blow up, please don't blow up. Ooh, it didn't blow up. Sweet. Delish. Hi, I'm your original Prusa, i3 printer. Would you like to see the, the shutter process? Yes, I would. And the self-test to common, most common assembly problems. All right, sounds good. Please check the IR sensor connection. Unload filament thread. No filament is loaded. It's just sitting out there. And I checked all the connections. Insert the filament into the extruder and press the knob. I've never done this before. Where's the end? I guess that's the Okay. Press the knob. Knob. <laughs> Move the filament and try again. It hasn't blown up though. Not blowing up is a massive win. Push it in a bit firmer. Self test start. Extruder fan. Printer fan. Extruder fan is okay. Printer fan is. Well, there's the extruder fan that was running. Thinking. Come on, baby. That's okay. <gasps> it moves. Checking why XXS is bad, hot end. Ah, oh, this is so cool. I was so worried, given how many cables and parts there were to this, that something wasn't going to work. It's kind of beautiful. <laughs> X is okay, Y is okay, Z is looking okay. Calibrating home. Bed is thinking. Come on, bed. This thing is just so super cool. PSU is there. Board. Bed is still thinking. Come on, bed. So every one of these cable management devices had to be wrapped with all the cables in them. Every one of these screws <laughs> done up manually. Little SD card slot over there. Bed is still thinking. Very importantly, stickers. Ooh, bed is okay. Checking the hot end. Uh, USB cable for firmware update. Uh, they even ship with an SD card there to load your models in. An acupuncture needle for cleaning the device. A spare collar, these look just like the ones that are up there. Uh, multiple other spare bits as well. 
I have one bag like this. Oh, here we go, calibration. I will run XYZ calibration now. It will take approximately 12 minutes. All right, sweet, so I'm not gonna record that whole thing, but I am gonna show you the other bits that came with this. Spares, these are all spares. These were left from one of the steps, and I sort of, actually, I probably need to press the thing, don't I? Yep, what a home. That's so cool. So these were left from one of the steps. And I was spinning out for a little bit because I was like, why aren't they in the machine? And then you see the comments and people are like, yeah, so I had two of these shorter screws and one of these longer screws and one of the nuts. Please clean the nozzle for calibration. How do I clean the nozzle? All right, I'm gonna have to go away and figure out how to clean the nozzle. <laughs> then I can, uh, can finish this, but I'll do that tomorrow. Uh, steel sheets as well. One steel sheet there, one steel sheet there. Uh, that one's a steel sheet TXT. That one is a steel sheet. I'm not sure of the difference. Whole bunch of uh, cable tires left over. The whole thing as well came with all the tools. So everything from a screwdriver through to all the Allen keys that you might need. There's another one or two around somewhere. That guy just there. Came through some lubricant there, I believe that gets used on the hotbed at some time along with that. Uh, one tiny, tiny, tiny little grub screw, which seems to be surplus to needs. And the whole thing's put together, in part with the help from this uh, little cheat sheet, so you can measure every single little nut that comes with it. You can line up and go, okay, yeah, that one there, that is a M3X10. Uh, and that is it. So I'm going to figure out how to clean my nozzle and finish the setup.